thank you thank you so much guys for being in here and i apologize for not checking that my zoom needed updates and um how's everybody doing today semua makan ke good morning guys good morning good morning good morning come on in come on in ah ada yang cakap teacher you look so gorgeous today you are gorgeous too you 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 are all gorgeous Hmm. Good morning, guys. Uh, did you make good dog? Did you make I I had bread just now. I had toast bread, and um, I had my second cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, today is actually my cousin's um wedding. Yesterday, my cousin got married. Um, it was the solemnization, which is akad nikah, and um, today is going to be the persandingan, uh, or uh, the 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 wedding day and um i'm going to go later right after the class i'm going to rush over there hmm miss tanpa kurus any tips okay kurus tak ada lah ala you puji-puji i lebih macam ni kenapa i cakap you puji i bila you cakap i dah nampak kurus sebab i tengah uh, uh, membuat gaya hidup sihat i'm actually um, living a healthier lifestyle che you ke healthier lifestyle Um, so I have a goal for this year that I want to cut sugar. So basically, to je, ah, I've been cutting sugar. I eat everything, I eat everything, but I just cut my sugar. Um, the reason why I cut sugar bukan sebab nak kurus. The reason I cut sugar um, is because I need to to be healthier. Macam mana nak elak dari sugar minum air kelapa? Uh, I don't know what's the science behind it, but me know my kelapa, it works. Okay? Uh, and drink lots and lots of plain water too. Um, I, I read this I read this on TikTok actually. I saw somebody said it on TikTok actually. Um, this one um, nutritionist or a dietitian, I couldn't remember his name. It's a guy. And um, he said, every time you crave for sugar, drink coconut water. Ah, uh, drink coconut water. Ah, uh, not santan eh, tapi air kelapa. The the fresh, refreshing, um, air kelapa. I love it. I love it so much. Jangan <laughs> minum santan, pelak kan? Ha, uh, um, it's really good. Okay. And uh, bila you minum air kelapa ni, apparently your body akan switch off daripada sugar cravings. Kalau you macam teacher, kelapa muda betul. Thank you, Hanani. Kelapa muda. Ah, uh, kelap yang dia beli tu kelapa pandan. It's really good. Ah, uh, dia beli lima ringgit dekat rumah teacher. Teacher duduk dekat kawasan puncak alam eh. Teacher just grab it five ringgit. Um, it's ah uh, you you may you may think that teacher malas ni nak minum air kelapa. Ah, uh, malas ni nak minum air kelapa sebab hilang nak kena pergi cari lagi. But it's really good. Saya ada pokok kelapa depan rumah. Kalau dia ada pokok kelapa lagi bagus. Kalau kelapa parut, cana dicer. Shredded coconut. Shredded coconut is um, yang you buat santan tu. Ada dua jenis actually. Ah, uh, kelapa tua you buat santan. Kelapa muda you buat um, you buat dessert kan? Ah, uh, macam bounty tu semua kelapa muda tu. Ah, uh, betul tu. Dekat dengan UITM. Teacher beli kita teacher grab daripada setia alam. I just grab from setia alam. Ah, uh, it's four ringgit. Jangan beli satu lah, beli lebih sikit. You boleh simpan kan? Um, sebab nanti delivery charge you boleh beli banyak simpan. Tak eh, dah setiap hari satu nak beli. Ha, Fafa kita jiran lah Fafa. Okay, lama pula teacher cerita pasal kau kena ni kan? Semua sihat ke? Rindu lah. Ha, I rindu sebenarnya. I rindu semua orang sebenarnya. Okay, um, just to double check with you, kat sini semua from four kan? Ah, sebab nak cerita sikit ni. Nak marah sikit ni. Ya, yeah, nak marah. <laughs> tak marah lah. <laughs> tak marah, jangan risau. I just... <laughs> tak marah lah. Lalu sedih pula dia semua. Semua nak masuk from five dah ni kan? How are you feeling? Ah, how are you feeling? Nervous. Sedih. Takut. Tak ready. Best. Result. Semangat. Lagi 8 bulan nak trial. Betul tu? Tiba-tiba hmm. dah besar kan? 
Okay, I just now remind you one thing. The moment um this year's batch, what JSPM? The moment they're happy JSPM, uh, they will start bulan dua nanti. Okay, they will start in the early of uh, February, uh, along with the with the paper three and stuff. Okay, let's start from there. First, I want you to pray for your um for your seniors. Okay, that's the first thing I need you to do. Because bila you pray for someone, bila you pray for someone, all the prayers that you beri kepada orang tu, you pun akan dapat the taste of it. Okay, that's one. But jangan pray for someone just because you want the taste of it. Pray seikhlas hati lah. Do you, do you, okay? I pray for them to succeed in everything that they, that they do, uh, especially the SPM paper. And um, I want you to to pray for not just get straight A's in your SPM, but I want you to also pray that that God will ease everything for you in this whole year of 2000. <laughs> Uh, dia tak nak pergi lebih-lebih eh. Um, when you when you are in two, in the year of 2023 nanti, pagi-pagi pula emotional eh, teacher ni. Kenapa lah. Ha. I just want you to know that, uh, okay, let's get back to the praying part eh. I want you to know that it is important for you to pray that God is everything in the year 2023 because I will pray for you to do to get the same okay I I doa yang tahun 2023 ni segala urusan you akan dipermudahkan and teacher doa yang yang semua benda yang you belajar you dapat absorb I try to do that before you belajar try to baca doa uh, before teacher masuk kelas saya akan selalu doa untuk Teacher dapat sampaikan apa yang teacher nak sampaikan dengan jelas. Tapi, you pun kena doa juga. Ha, you doa sebelum masuk kelas ataupun tengah, tengah, tengah introduce myself. Mungkin you boleh doa sekejap. You doa that apa yang kita nak belajar hari ni, you dapat absorb. Okay, I want you to do that. Um, and I I hope God will ease everything for you. Uh, by in terms of easing everything for you dari segi kesihatan you kesihatan mental dan physical dua-dua penting both your both of your mental and physical health is uh, are important number two i hope that uh, allah will ease everything um dari segi dari segi segala-gala masalah yang you you takut you ada dari segi friendship dari segi keluarga in terms of your friendship uh, your relationship with your family members and i pray that god will ease everything for you uh, that you don't have to think about anything that will distract you from your spm people and i i believe when we have SPM, kita kadang-kadang rasa lah SPM je pun. We do have people who find SPM is just an SPM. But I don't want I don't want you to think that way because you will only take SPM once in a lifetime. Sekali je. Walaupun ya, yeah, you can repeat and all. But let's get done with. Okay, you can repeat. Yes, I, I agree with you. You can repeat. It's okay if you want to repeat. But let's get done with. Can we do that? Ha, sebab ada yang cakap teacher boleh repeat. Ya, yeah, memang boleh. Boleh tak cakap tak boleh pun. Tapi this is once in a lifetime kind of moment yang you dengan kawan-kawan you. Buat SPM. Kan? So I want you to get it done with. Together with your friends. Nanti kawan you sedih tau you tinggalkan dia seorang-seorang. Ha. Buat together dengan kawan you. Get it done with. Okay? And um, if you rasa down, Okay, if you rasa down, just remember. Just remember one thing. Nothing, nothing comes easy. And the easy things that comes in life, that the easy things that come in life is not going to be as sweet as benda yang you work really hard for. Okay, so work hard. Continue working hard. And thank you for coming in. Uh, walaupun cuti-cuti, 
teacher, I already uh, started to, I've already started to feel paranoid about it. Trust me, when I was your age, I pun takut. Tiba-tiba, depending tu, dia datang one time. Boleh ke teacher bebel? Sebenarnya time bebel dah habis dah ni. <laughs> time bebel dah habis dah ni. Bebel sikit lagi eh. Sometimes you akan rasa macam tiba-tiba the pressure tu datang kat kepala you, dekat neck you kan. Sometimes you feel all tense up. You rasa macam alamak. Serapotnya nak massage lah. Ha, ask your sister to help you massage. Okay? Do that. Number two, first step, bila you panic, the first thing that you need to do when you panic, you need to, you need to rest. Not quit. You need to rest. Um, don't quit. Rest. And, um, pernah tak teacher paranoid? Eh, of course, you're teacher manusia. Ah, we're human being. Go out, take a walk. If you don't have sisters, get your, your mom to help you. Okay, to massage you or massage yourself. If you can pat yourself at the back, you can massage yourself. I massage myself too. Sometimes I just take, I just take my both of my hands. Uh, I I actually get my sister to help me lah. Ah, uh, Miss Sarah, dia selalu tolong. Ah, uh, I pun tolong dia, dia pun tolong I. Okay. Now, paranoid tu macam mana? Paranoid tu uh, an overwhelming feeling that attacks you and you panic. I uh, actually it's not towards. Paranoia, it's more towards being panic. Eh? You panic, you risau macam alamak, alamak, alamak. Takut ni, tiba-tiba you rasa Allah buat akbar. That one day yang semua benda datang. That one day yang semua benda datang yang bagi you rasa macam alamak. Banyaknya benda ni, kenapa ni? Lepas tu you tak di breathe. You tak di breathe. Kalau you tak di breathe tu, tu adalah severe eh. That one is the panic attack dia tu. Chest pain lah, risau. Eh, I'm not kidding you eh. This is not something to, to kid eh. This is something that is happening because you are anxious. But is it normal to feel anxious? Of course. You are taking exam next year lah. Come on lah. Lepas tu lagi-lagi, your abang and kakak nak habis exam dah ni. They are taking the exam in no time. Uh, you rasa macam lemak, I'm coming. It's my turn. Don't worry. You have about nine months to prepare. Kenapa I cakap nine months? It's actually more than that. Okay, it's actually more than that. Tapi I give you nine months. Give yourself nine months, insyaAllah, to habiskan segala modul yang ada. And what about my form five questions yang ada dalam ni? Uh, what about the form five? Yang form five yang ada, sebab ada yang cakap, teacher saya form five. Don't worry about it. You don't have nine months lah, of course. <laughs> yang form five, you tak ada nine months. Eh? <laughs> Minta maaf eh, yang form five, you tak ada nine months, you ada... Mungkin um, tak nak kira untuk you, you kira berapa masa yang you ada, dia takutkan dia orang lain. You have to about 2 weeks, 14 days, 19 days lah. Give yourself 20 days. Give yourself 20 days, boleh? This 20 days, masukkan, uh, uh, buat proper planning. Eh? Yang 9 months pun boleh buat, yang 20 days pun boleh buat, yang 1 day pun boleh buat. Do some time block, block all of your time. Tengok apa yang you boleh tulis. Apa yang you perlukan. Apa yang the weakest part. Yang from five, you can you you can join seminars to help you out. Ha, because seminars memang dah, kita plan untuk you. You tak ada plan. Ha, that's why we have mega plan. We plan for you so that you don't have to write all this blog yang teacher cakap. Okay? So, hari ni, jom kita belajar. Banyak lama teacher baby 15 minit. Eh. Selain ni 5 minit je tau. Ha, to those of you yang balik asrama nanti, I have another tip for you. Tadi ada I dengar form 1 Miss Nuri cakap dia sedih eh, duduk asrama. Dia rindu mak dia. Rindu bapak dia. Dia kata I cakap dekat dia. I cakap dekat dia, guys, your abang kakak form 4, form 5, diorang dah get through this. You pun boleh. You pun boleh. Okay? Memang you akan takut. Okay, kita ada lagi satu cerita nak cerita dengan you sebenarnya. Tapi kejap lagi lah kita belajar dulu. <laughs> 15 minit kan teacher, kalau teacher cakap satu jam pun boleh juga. Ha. Teacher kalau dah cakap tak boleh senyap. Ha, ada yang dah, ber, dah start berdoa dah tu. Teacher stop cakap teacher. <laughs> belajar. Belajar guys. Jom kita belajar. Alright, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing rational clothes. Ha, kita nak buat rational clothes. Dia cakap dekat sini. Read the text below and choose the best word for each space. For the question, circle the correct letter A, B or C. Each year. 
Eurovision Song Contest. Ah, uh, Eurovision is a program, eh? Um, and we're going to talk about that. The bus to check out by millions of people. Okay, we're going to talk about that, talk about that, talk about that. Okay, now here's what we're going to be doing. You are going to try first, but already explained. Boleh ya? Kita ada watch, watching, uh, seeing, saw, clap, directed, attended, recorded, opera, event, documentary, cinema, respected, clip, directed, review, world, god, is, was, ballet, novel, circus, festival, song, sing, singing, sang, act, on, in, into, has been, have been, had been, were, recorded, attended, clap, respected. So, kita akan buat itu semua lah. Okay, extra tips ni kalau ada apa-apa yang teacher tulis, okay, kejap lagi, uh, memang ada lah few, you just write it down. Vocabulary ni, apa yang teacher beri meaning, you just write it down. This is something empty, you just write on your own. Eh? And then, tu sajalah, kita nak buat tu je. Okay, boleh tak teacher nak minta dua pelasians tolong teacher baca? Eh? Ha, dua je. Nak minta trooper lah. Trooper minta tolong boleh, teacher dah bebe, 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 bebe. Pada tadi tu, saya patut buat guna masa tu untuk buat you baca tau. Ha, bebe lama pula, sebab rindu. And I care about you guys a lot. Eh? I want you guys to be happy. Boleh, siapa cakap webinar tak boleh? Jom kita cakap dekat kawan-kawan kita. Okay, jom kita minta trupa tolong. Saya cuba, eh, boleh ke saya buat? Saya rasa boleh ni. Okay, saya rasa trupa dah buka dah untuk saya. Okay, now let me see. Siapa nak cuba? Semua, semua beri kawan you, boleh nama kawan you eh. Ha, kemain eh. Uh, Ashwin, Ashwin you're going to try. Okay, the first candidate is going to be Ashwin. And, oh, Jirel is in a crowded place. Don't worry about it. If you if you think that you can you can read in in, in between the crowded place, then we I'm going to pick you. If not, we're going to get you to do it some other time. Bumboli, okay? Just remember to remind me. Uh, next is Soleh Hatun Najiha. Okay, Soleh Hatun Najiha. Eh, kita ada three, three. Three paragraphs. Sole, Sole Hatun. Sorry, eh? Najiha. Another person, Siti Nur Haliza, Aceh. <laughs> Bukan Siti Nur Haliza, Siti Nur Haliza. Saja je. Okay, you cannot, you cannot switch on your mic yet, but here's what's going to happen. I am going to unmute you, but you have the control. The moment teacher unmute you, you jadi panelist. So, you are the control on the microphone. Okay? I uh, just... Just control the microphone to switch it on and switch it off when you are speaking accordingly. And the rest of it, you, kita akan uh, tengok what to do after we da baca together, alright? So, are you guys ready to do this? Okay, let's do this. Let's try. I think I can try and do this. <laughs> oh, boleh lah. Thank you, Trooper. Ah, I boleh buat. Trooper dah siap buat untuk I siap. siap. Okay, I'm going to unmute you for a while. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Trooper. Sayang, Trooper. Okay, now let's have Ishwin. Hi, Ishwin. Hi, Miss. How are you? I'm good. Is it Ishwin or Ashwin? Ishwin. Ishwin. So I pronounce it correctly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, so, my dear, you sound really sweet can i get to know you more if you don't mind can you tell me where you're from which school do you go to and um i want to be a nosy person today what's your favorite food okay um i'm from slango i'm from sri kemangan um i go to smk taman Desiminium, and i love all the food i'm a foodie i love everything <laughs> <High five. laughs> Okay, so I assume that you're going, you're from four, going to be from five next year? Yeah, I'm from four. Okay, so how, how are you feeling about that? Are you excited? Anxious, at the same time, I'm excited to be done with. So, yeah. Because you, you have learned a lot this from four. Actually, um, I, I think being in form four, the journey in form four is, is not, it's not always pleasant, right? You have yeah. bumpy roads here and there because from form three you're transitioning to something new so if you have gone through this bumpy road with a smile on your face i believe you're going to get through from five perfectly i believe in that Ishwin. yeah thank you and uh thank you so much for sharing to all of us about yourself are you ready to read about um 
Eurovision history, and you're going to read from each year until San Remo music. Okay, so that's okay. First. So the whole paragraph, right? Yeah. So yeah. each year until uh, San San Remo. You don't have to worry about the answer. You can answer it if you want, but if you just want to leave it blank, you can just say blank. Okay. Okay. We start whenever you're ready. Okay. Each year, the Ever Song contest blank by millions of people all over the world sitting in front of their TVs. It is also blanked by, lar by large numbers of excited friends who were, like, who were lucky enough to get tickets to the live blank itself. Eurovision is... Excuse me? Eurovision. Eurovision. Eurovision is one of the most popular contests of its kind. It is blank by music lovers everywhere. But do you know how it started? Well, the idea of the contest came from a man called Mar Marco Benzencon, and it blank based on something called an Italian ceremonial music blank. Perfect, Ishwin. Can everybody give Ishwin a huge round of applause for doing such an amazing job. Before I proceed uh, to get um, Soliha to, to read, let me just um, let me just say something for the first paragraph. Issue it first and foremost, it's perfect. You've done such an amazing job. Um, there's so many of your friends in here, and um, this is a room full of, I mean, not a room. This is actually a hall full of students amount of people that we have here. Eh? And you, you butcher, when you read in front of these many people, I hope that you're going to boost your confidence along with the reading and don't worry because um, everyone in here is going to have each other's back okay and um, don't worry don't feel nervous uh, Ishwin I, I, I hope that you don't feel um, anxious anymore okay I hope that you feel better now because you have done such an amazing job now um, it's okay for us to not um, know how to pronounce certain names. Like this is an uh, an Italian name, actually. They, they mentioned it's uh, Marcel Bezencon. And um, sometimes when we pronounce names, kita, kita pronounce certain names according to the spelling, it can be different from the spelling too. And that is totally fine because nama berbeza, kan? And uh, nama pun ada spelling yang berbeza. That's why when it comes to my students, I always ask you, am I pronouncing your name correctly? So I put aku, I pronounce nama salah and then nanti you rasa macam I'm being insensitive. But no, sometimes I just want to know how is it that I can pronounce your name. And, um, and I hope that you guys are not going to be scared to read in front of your friends because the moment you will watch the kawan-kawan you, you wouldn't have any issue doing your speaking nanti. Okay? So thank you so much, Ishwin. Let's find out what is Eurovision about. So each year, setiap tahun, Eurovision Song Contest, pertandingan uh, menulis lagu ke menyanyi. Jom kita find out. Eh? Now, by millions of people, berjuta-juta orang dari seluruh dunia duduk di depan TV mereka. It is also by large numbers of excited fans who are lucky enough to get tickets to the live itself. So live what we're going to find out. Okay, siapa yang siapa yang lucky enough, siapa yang bernasib baik, mereka akan dapat tengok live. So does this mean that it is something yang yang very limited? Yes, I assume it is limited. Yeah. Eurovision is one of the most popular contests of its kind. Now, kenapa dia cakap ianya adalah yang paling masyur, pertandingan yang paling masyur di antara this music industry. Uh, kenapa? Sebab dia cakap by music lovers everywhere. Uh, penggemar music seluruh dunia. But do you know how it started? Adakah kita tahu bagaimana ianya bermula? Well, the idea for the contest came from a man Marcel Benzekin and it is sorry, it based on something called the Italian Sanremo music. Ia berdasarkan daripada uh, something yang dipanggil sebagai Italian Sanremo music. Okay, you can find out all about um, Eurovision later. Okay, we're going to find out from the passage first and then we are going to find out the answers now. I'm going to need the next candidate, Sally Hatun, to unmute yourself. Hi, Sally Hatun. Hi, Miss. How are you? Nice. I'm okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. So, Salia, Tim, can I ask you a little bit about yourself? Where you're from? Which school do you go to? And maybe you can share with us what is your favorite leisure activity? Uh, I'm from Trenganu, and my leisure activity. And my leisure favorite activity is watching movie, maybe. Watching movie, that's good. Watching movie is fun. And um, Soli Ratun, if you don't mind me asking with my heaviest heart, how is it going in your area there? Because it's actually rainy season. Oh. Is your area affected? No, not. <laughs> So it's not affected by the flood, yeah? I'm so happy to hear that. Which part of Trunganu are you from? Besut. Besut. MashaAllah, beautiful place. I've never been to Trunganu, but I've always wanted to go to Trunganu. One of our English students is actually from Trunganu. Mr. Asri, are you yes. aware of that? Yes. He's from Dungun, actually. Yeah, he's from Dungun. So I've been meaning to go to Trunganu with, uh, with our teacher Aina as well. Because we really wanna wanna see what's what's going on in there, <laughs> and uh, we haven't gotten the chance. But if I were to go to Basut or any place close to that place, I will definitely uh, inform everyone, and you you'll know about it too. Okay. So my dear, do I call you Soleha too or Soleha? Soleha. Soleha, beautiful name. So thank you so much for sharing about your favorite leisure activity, which is watching movie. And uh, watching movies beneficial too. What type of movie do you like to watch? What genre do you prefer? Uh, scientists. Oh, anything that is related to scientific. Um, uh, is it science fiction or anything? Uh, both. Anything? Both. That's amazing. And um, I hope that you're going to talk about all the sci-fi or sci science fiction movies or whether non-fiction or fiction, doesn't matter, in your movie review if it were to ever come up, okay? And uh, thank you, Saleha. Are you ready to read the second paragraphs? Yes. Let's do this. The first Eurovision Song Contest was held in 1956 and seven countries took part. From the first contest in 1956 until 1965, and again from 1973 until 1976, song could be blank in any language. However, from, from 1966 until 1972, and again from 1978 until 1978, the rules say that all songs had to be performed blank, the language of the participant. Wow, that's amazing, especially when you have so many numbers to mention over there. That's like 19 this and 19 that. Can everybody give Saleha a huge round of applause for doing such an amazing job? Thank you so, so much, Saleha. Keep up the great work, okay? I hope that you are going to continue to, um, to excel in your reading and... Um, at the same time, you're speaking. All right, now, as you guys can see, there's a the number in 1956, 1970, so many numbers over there. And um, it is quite tongue-twisting, isn't it? They were tongue-twisting. Twist your tongue from one number to another. But uh, Soleha didn't twist it at all. She did it perfectly. Now, what did she say here? The Eurovision Song Contest yang pertama diadakan atau dianjurkan pada tahun 1956 Tahun 1956, and um, and in seven countries, sorry, and seven countries took part. Bukan bukan dia tak buat dekat tujuh country ya, dia dia buat dekat one place, di mana tujuh negara took places. Now I believe the negara that we are talking about is European countries uh, because in the continent of Europe, and that's why they check Eurovision dekat situ. And from the first contest in 1956 until 1965, and again, dari pada tahun 1973 until 1976, so apa yang you nampak dekat sini? So, can you think of by decade, kan? Even though it's not exactly the same decade, ini adalah in the 50s, tahun 50-an. Ini adalah 70-an. Ini adalah in between of 1966 to 1972, and then again, they repeat pula, tahun 70-an sampai tahun 90-an, the rules said that all songs had to be performed, the language of participants, bahasa participants. So, kat sini, bukan, bukan sahaja English, eh? they are not talking about just English, because bukan English sahaja bahasa dekat 
Eropah. Okay, I need you to tell me apa bahasa-bahasa yang di, ditutur, da, yeah, sorry, yang di, 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 digunakan di dalam Europe, dalam kontinen Eropah. Perancis, French, <laughs> comel. Italian lagi, Portuguese, German lagi, Spanish. Japanese, Europe, Europe, Europe. Russia tak? Russia no. English, don't forget English. Ah, lagi apa? Bahasa ibunda mereka. Polish. Ah, Polish pun bukan. Polish, I don't think Polish is in Europe. Polish is not in Europe. Okay? So, basically, the the six. Ah, Portuguese ada mentioned tadi. Latin, the main one. Okay? And ada ke UK, they speak. English. So let's talk about the seven main ones. Now, what about um, uh, Icelandic and all? Uh, Iceland is not in Europe, so perhaps maybe that's not the language. Tapi kalau you talk about all other language and people participate, boleh boleh cakap uh, bahasa Melayu. Boleh katakan boleh kita nyanyi lagu Siti Noliza. Kalau teacher masuk, boleh tak teacher nak nyanyi lagu Biarlah Rahsia? Boleh tak? Of course lah boleh. Pernahkah kau bermimpi seketika ha. berada di tempatku? Ah, oh, gitu. <laughs> I suka tau Siti Raliza. Ha. Favorite? Sangat-sangat suka Siti Raliza. Ziana Zain. Boleh ke nak nyanyi? Boleh lah sebab dia cakap language of the participant. I'm the participant and I am Malaysian. So, I cakap lah nanti lah lagu bahasa Melayu. Okay? So, boleh. Now, dia cakap apa lagi? So, sekarang kita nak tengok Siti Nur Haiza. Alamak, the actual one is here. Ha, cakap nama Siti Nur Haiza terus teringat. Siti Nur Haiza. Okay, now let's have Siti Nur Haiza to unmute yourself. Hi, Siti Nur Haiza. Hi, this How are you? I'm fine. Now, how many times in your life has people um have people associate you with Siti Nohaliza? Is this like you, eh? Yes, always all the time. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you get your your bored and sick of it. I'm so sorry. I get that. Um, yeah, when it. and that's really really cute. Do you sing? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you want to say? No, okay, no, it's okay. I don't think I have to tell it. You know, every time, okay, I've, I've been teaching you guys for many, many years. Every time I try to make you guys sing, none of you guys have ever sung for me. I've never, I've ever sang for me. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to cry in the corner there. I'm kidding. Okay. Siti Nur Haiza. Alamak. Rasa macam pink. Pagi Siti Nur Haiza. So, do I call you Siti or Nur Haiza or Haiza or Nur? Um, Haiza will be okay. Haiza will be okay. Now, uh, by the way, my name is also Siti. Not many of, oh. of you guys do know that. My name is actually Siti Maria. So, Siti, hi. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, some people call me Siti too, you know. Yes. Uh, some people, some people call me Siti. Uh, in my back in my uni, uh, people will, will call me Siti. I mean, not my friends, uh, but my my lecturers, uh, my teachers do call me Siti too. <laughs> Yes, in primary, uh, most of people call me Siti. But when uh, I go to high school, most of my friends call me Haiza. So it's like they change, they, the name got changed. Right? That's because you correct them, right? You say, uh, I prefer Haiza. <laughs> <laughs> because I have like six cities in my class. So when the teacher says Siti, all the six cities will look at the teacher. Yes, teacher. In my class, got three Siti and Noor. <laughs> And no too, yes. Ah, ramai. Jadi bila bila panggil Siti tu pasal semua Siti pandang. Yes, true. Ah, tu mana satu ni? Ah, kalau kalau my teacher dia akan panggil Siti yang paling kuat bercakap tu, Aira tu. <laughs> Alright, and thank you so much, Aiza, for for um, sharing. And um, we're going to ask you some questions if you don't mind. Where are you from? Which school do you go to? And um, what is your favorite? Um, not leisure activity, but favorite thing to do. It can be anything. It can be either leisure or it can be something that uh, you do non leisurely. So, what is it? I want to know all about it. Uh, so, I uh, I am from Penang, Georgetown, and I go to SMT Abdul Mushi. 
So during like my free time, I usually read a novels or sometimes a poem book. But most of the time, I will watch K dramas or just like sing, even though I don't have a good voice. But it's okay. Uh, that, hey. that's what I do. Don't say that you don't have a good voice. You have great voice. <laughs> Sani marah ni, sedap suara you bercakap pun sedap, nyanyi mesti sedap, okay? And, um, and uh, sorry, to, to cut your highs up. So you were saying you like to sing, you like to read novel, and uh, what else do you like to do? Um, I don't know, I don't do much. I think I always read novels lah, most of the time. Mm -mm. English novels like um, fantasy genre or like romantic one. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Um, um, reading is, is fantastic because you get to be in a whole new world. And um, that is one thing that I, I learned later in life. Uh, reading is, is an imagination. Uh, before this, teacher baca, je tak sure kan what's going on. Kenapa I baca, kenapa I suka baca, I don't know kenapa I suka baca, but I realized that, oh, it gets me to imagine things. That's why I like it ever since I was a kid. And thank you so, so much. Yes, Lei, I totally agree with you. A whole world constructed by you. And Haiza, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being so uh, supportive on, on this uh, speaking session. It's actually a speaking session, but I didn't tell you guys that I want to run a quick test for speaking. Because if I say that, none of you guys would volunteer. So, Soleha, eh, sorry, Soleha, blah. Haiza, are you ready to? Yes, I'm ready. Great. Let's do this. Okay. Another early contest rule stated that participants had to sing their songs to, li to live music. That rule blank changed, and now the people on the Eurovision stage must sing to music that has been blank at an earlier date on something known as a backing track. When you think about it, this is logical, as there will never be enough time to set up all the instruments on stage in the short break between the many songs. Excellent, Haiza. That was indeed amazing. I love your energy, love your beautiful voice, so fluent. And these are not just words coming from me, but coming from your friends too. Thank you so, so again, much. Sorry, Thank, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Haiza. I hope to, to see you in person and I hope to see you um, uh, in the classes in the future, okay? So that I, I can know how you actually look like with that amazing voice. Same goes to Soleha. <laughs> And issue week. Everybody give them a huge round of applause. Thank you so much, mashallah. I love your energy. You guys are amazing. Now, before I proceed uh, to, to explain Haiza's part, let me just share with you. Can I put other boys here volunteer? Not just share, I'm ask you. My, where are my boys? Boys that are at the bird, a chat. Ah, I don't see the Mana? Lepas ni, the next time I see you in the class, first person yang kita akan pilih is going to be one of the boys. Ah, eh? uh, ilham ke siapa ke get ready lah nanti. <laughs> Sekali semua nanti tak datang kan? Janganlah macam tu. Ah, uh, saya suka match cakap saya kita low profile miss. Hello, janganlah macam tu. Kita nak get to know you guys very very. Um, we want to get to know you guys in very uh, in in a very informal way, so that you're not going to be so that you are not going to be very nervous when you see each other in the Okay, so don't worry about it. So I'm going to release the names. So tadi Soleha dah baca about the years. Ishwin dah baca about what is it all about? Who's the founder? And Haizan pun baca untuk kita about the detail that's in there. So I'm just going to erase the names. And it's about another early contest rule stated. Okay, another, another syarat pertandingan. Eh? Um, dia cakap dekat sini, stated that participants had to sing their songs to live music. Participants kena nyanyi lagu to live music. Now, that rule change. Uh, dulu dia live music, maknanya ada live band yang akan play the music. Tapi sekarang dia dah tukar. Kenapa? Sebab the people in on the Eurovision stage must sing to music that has been at an early date or something so known as backing track. Macam backing track is a karaoke, you know. Not to say karaoke lah, but you have uh, you have to read via minus one. Eh? And um, when you think about it, that is logical. Ia ni lebih logik kerana tak cukup masa untuk nak set up semua instrumen di atas pentas or on stage in the short break between the many songs. Okay, this is your rational close. Ada tanya teacher bila kita nak jumpa? Kita akan jumpa nanti dalam kelas 
Okay. Um, next year, when the class starts, you can jump into the class, and um, we are going to be able to switch on the camera so that you don't pop the camera when you. Ah, because now the, this is a seminar, so it's going to be in the form of webinar. So what do you need? So what do you want to pop the camera when you? Because that's why chatting to each other is very important, kan? So nanti bila dia dah nampak kawan-kawan dia tak ada you rasa lagi takut nak bercakap. Ha, okay don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. What's going on in here? So I'm going to share with you guys um the answer. We're going to try and do this together. So the very first one is going to be answered by me. I'm going to help you. Okay, I'm going to help you out. Ah, uh, so Bila I dah help you out with the first one, you gonna try the rest of it. Okay, I'm gonna share with you how it works. So this year, each year, as of tiap tahun, Eurovision Song Contest is by millions of people all over the world sitting in front of the TVs. Now, watching, watch, see, and song. So what is that? Okay, first and foremost, dia ada bagi dua pilihan jawapan. Dia ada the word see versus watch. Now, do you see TV? Do you look TV? Or you pick TV? Or you peep TV? Or you watch? Now, when you say TV, it's more towards watch. When you see things, you don't get engaged with it. Bila you tengok TV ni, you're going to watch for quite some time and you're going to be engaging to this TV, kan? And it's more suitable to talk about watching TV rather than you see TV. See ni adalah just Tengok dalam bahasa Melayu, mungkin cakap tengok pun kan. Ah, Tapi watch ni sebenarnya menonton. So, kita tak cakap tengok TV, kita cakap menonton TV. So, that should be the way. And when you put as um, menonton TV, uh, you can remember kita ada engagement dengan TV. Meaning, you are engaged with the TV. Tapi kalau just tengok je macam, I saw the whole thing. Maknanya you just lihat sahaja. You don't lihat TV. Sian TV tu. Unless kalau you pergi beli TV, you pergi tengok-tengok TV, you lihat TV, and that's how you put it. Okay? Now, kenapa watching, watch, seeing, saw? Okay, dia cakap dekat sini. Ya. Each year the Eurovision contest is by millions of people. Now, some of you guys say, teacher, ada is. So, kalau ada is, Maknanya, jawapan dia kena is watching lah. Tak semestinya. Over here, the is is for the past passive form. Past passive form. What do I mean by that? Can I share with you a little something about past passive voice? Okay, first and foremost, what is passive voice? Now, ayat passive. Kejap eh, pen teacher pula ngadu tiba-tiba. Kenapa pen? Ayat ni macam ni. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Ayat passive ataupun passive voice eh, is usually used informally. Eh, sorry. Formally. Okay. Untuk men menceritakan something yang lebih formal. And kita fokus lebih kepada objek. Rather than the subject. Now, passive voice sama juga macam active voice. So, they have different tenses. So, the tenses yang ada akan affect masa. Because tenses is time. Tenses tells time. It's a time machine where it's going to take you anywhere. So, don't worry about whether it's passive or active. Dua-dua pun boleh digunakan. And when you talk about passive voice ni, I'm just going to share with you um, something that that I always use, eh? the simple example. So let's say we have um, Zaril. Eh? So what does Zaril do? Zaril is your noun dekat sini or your subject. Okay, and then of course, lepas kita ada subject, we will have our verb. So let's say, painted. Okay. Apa yang dia painted? Objek dia yang dia buat, objek yang dia buat adalah bilik dia. Let's say his room. Okay dah. Zaril painted his room. Bila you nak tukar dia jadi adalah form of active voice. 
Ah, this is the form of active voice. Bila you nak tukar dia menjadi ayat passive, what will happen? Apa yang akan berlaku? You kena utamakan the verb. Eh, sorry, the verb lah, the object. You have to focus on the object, which is his room. Okay? So, now, let's take the object. Sekarang his room, ambil his room. So, subject dia akan jadi, automatically jadi the object. So, dia letak dekat sini. Okay? Now, bila subjek dia dah jadi objek, apa lagi yang you kena buat? You kena tambah something that we call as your tenses. Painted dekat sini, active voice is tenses jenis apa? Pass. Pass. Benda ni dah jadi painted. You nampak dia dah pass, dah berlaku. So, pass tense dia you kena tambah was. Kenapa kena tambah was? Sebab syarat dia kena tambah verb to be. Apa past tense of verb to be? Was. His room was. Lepas tu ambil verb dia. Baru ambil verb eh. Letak. Painted. Syarat lagi satu yang awak kena tambah adalah. By. Syarat lagi satu yang awak kena tambah adalah. By. So. By whom? By Zari. Kalau tak nak tukar his room, kita boleh tukar the room. Because now the room is some, the main character. Clear on that? Now, yang selalu buat kita confuse adalah the painted part. Now, mana saja you pergi kan, you have to remember yang painted ni sebenarnya adalah dalam bentuk we call it as your past party Simple. Sorry. So ada tiga benda yang akan berlaku dekat sini when it comes to passive voice. Number one, tambah verb to be. Number two, follow. Number two, bukan follow eh. Transform into past participle. Number three, tambah by. Tiga benda yang akan berlaku. Of course, this is just the surface lah kan. Ada lagi in detail yang kita akan belajar nanti. So, when you talk about past participle over here, contoh past participle adalah seen, eaten, written and many more. Jom kita tukar more. You want to change more? Let's change more. Eh? Um, let's talk about Zari painted his own room or someone else's room. So, in this case, Zaril actually painted his own room. So, kalau he painted his own room, so you can say the room was painted by Zaril. Okay, to, to make it clearer for people to understand. Tapi, penting tak kita nak letak by Zaril dekat sini? When it comes to passive voice, dah tak penting tak kita nak cakap nama Zaril ni. Zaril dah tak penting. Yang penting is the room. Okay, so the room was Painted. In 1956, the room was beautifully painted. We don't care about who painted it, but we care for the fact that bilik tu dah di what dah di chat dah di warna kan belah <laughs> dah di chat clear on that? Okay, I'm gonna give you another example so that it's clearer for you. Okay, now I need you to help me change it. Okay, hari ni memang I want to focus on you learning the passive voice. Okay, now. Change this to passive voice, ah. Huh? Okay. I sent the email this morning. Okay, tanah this morning lah. Yesterday morning. Tapun just yesterday, tanah morning. I sent the email yesterday. Passive that for me. So again, a passive can do. Identify what is the object. This is the object. Jangan ambil email saja. Ambil the whole thing. The email. 
So first thing first, you ambil ni. So tulis balik the email. And then what happened with the email? Ambil send kan? So send ni adalah pass. So number two, you can identify. So bila dia adalah pass, automatically you ambil. Tukar dia jadi was kan? So what is the past participle of send? Apa past participle of send? Still send juga. Was sent. So siapa yang hantar? The email. I kan? So number three. I. So was sent by me. Tapi yesterday nak buat macam mana pula? So letak was sent yesterday. Okay, jangan lupa. Was sent yesterday. Ha, anything yang additional eh. Kita letak star lah kat sini eh. Was sent yesterday. Penting tak lagi by me ni? Dah tak penting dah. So tak nak letak pun tak pun. The email was sent yesterday. Clear tak? Okay, now another thing yang kita selalu confuse eh. Ni teacher tukar kali lah sebab kita confuse lah. Teacher pakai kali lain. Okay, was sent. Okay. Alright. Another thing. Adik, kalau the email was sent by me yesterday. By me ni always kena duduk dekat belakang lah. Dia dah sebab dia dah benda kita tak kisah about. Was sent yesterday by me. Or was sent by me yesterday. Kalau myself macam mana miss? By myself. I wrote the letter by myself. And that one is dengan sendiri. Dengan diri saya sendiri. Saya yang perlakukan. That one is a reflective pronoun. Maknanya you reflect about your behaviour. Okay, that one is uh, different. Don't worry, we can talk about that some other time. But this one is by the object. Okay, by the tak penting dah. Sekarang teacher nak tukar something yang senang lagi kita nak nampak. Eh? Okay, uh, berapa tenses kita ada? Kita ada 12 tenses but I just don't want to get confused with all the 12 sentence, uh, tenses. Boleh tak teacher tunjuk you the, the chart terus? Ni, da, ni nota ni nota daripada your your friends eh? Daripada form 4. I did from five actually. So I'm just going to show you last year's notes. Eh? I mean this year's notes. Okay, I just need to show you the table. Give me a moment. Eh? Check my idea. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, I just put your file. Ni. Tak seberapa accurate. Okay. Okay, this one will be sent in your answer. Okay, now. Dia bukannya satu jenis sahaja. Dia ada sembilan tenses. Jadi ada sembilan jenis. Okay, jom kita tengok one by one dekat sini. Okay, before that, take a screenshot first. I take a screenshot, half of it. I will give it to you. Take a screenshot, you nak charge my phone. Dan lupa pula charge. Nanti dia terhilang pula masa teacher tengah mengajar. Okay. Ah Boleh, boleh. Teacher send nanti ya. Don't worry. Okay, jom kita tengok sementara kawan you. Take a screenshot. Nah, tadi kita cakap pasal pass. Just now we're talking about pass. The woman read the book. Read, you know lah past tense for read adalah read pronunciation dia yang tukar. Okay, tak apa. Tak ada screenshot tak apa. I will give it to you in the answers, definitely. Okay, the woman read the books past tense, plural, singular, okay? Now, plural, singular. Now, the book was read by the woman. The books were read by women. Kan, cakap verb to be kan, kat sini tukar. Okay, kalau present lagi simple. Nama pun present simple. The woman reads the book. The woman reads the book. So, the book is read by the woman. Tak kisahlah siapa pun yang baca. The book is read. Pun kita dah faham. The books are read. Sama juga dengan present continuous. Apa yang tukar verb to be, you tukar ikut dia punya keturunan tenses. For example, kat sini tadi, verb to be dia adalah past tense kan? Past simple. So, nampak tak dia jadi was. Tapi kalau dekat present continuous, verb to be untuk present continuous apa? It's ing. R ing. So, nampak tak dia tukar dia jadi apa kat sini? The woman is reading the book. Tukar jadi, the book is being, nampak tak saya cakap lagi tadi, is ing kan? So what is the verb to be ing untuk be? 
being. The book is being read by the woman. Jangan risau. Ramai yang, kita, ramai yang buat silap, yang ramai yang buat silap, which teacher pun masa kecil perlu buat silap, saya confused, B pun nak tukar macam mana? ING tak tak dikat reading ke? So dia jadi, the book is be reading. Ada tau. Sebab rule dia teacher cakap, tambah ING dekat book to be. Tapi, saya pergi tambah ING dekat tenser saya. Eh, dekat, dekat verb saya. Ah, Jadi, itu yang kita punya pembahaman. Sebab kadang-kadang teacher explain tak berapa clear ke apa ke kan. I'm sorry kalau teacher, teacher explain tak clear tadi. Tapi, don't do that. Okay? Remember, the rule is very simple. You ada subject, verb, object. Subject pergi dekat object, object pergi dekat subject, verb tambah B, follow tenses. Ah, Being, reading, salah. So, mana yang tambah tenses? B kan? So, kalau tenses dia ing, ini yang awak tukar. Ini yang follow tenses. Yang ini stay to pass participle. So, verb dia stay to pass participle. Kalau singing jadi sang. Jadi sang. Kalau it jadi eaten. Tapi dekat sini, being eaten. The cat, the mouse was being eaten. Ah, ataupun is being eaten by the cat. Rooted. Okay, you can take a screenshot of this one as well, which I will give you in the in the answers. Don't worry. Ah, so clear on the usage of it. Panjang sikit kita cerita, eh? Okay, then, eh guys, dah dua belas setengah. Cepatnya masa berlalu. Tak apa, the rest of it memang simple. Ah banyak banyak passive voice dalam dalam this sentence. Kenapa dia banyak pakai passive voice? Kenapa banyak digunakan passive voice? Bila kita gunakan passive voice, we use passive voice when we want to talk about two things. Something that is formal, okay, and something that is not focusing on the subject. Okay, jom kita naik balik. So apa jawapan yang first tadi? The Eurovision Song Contest is by millions of people. Sekarang awak nampak tak? Is watch. Now it's clearer for us. Kenapa is watched? Okay, so jawapan dia adalah B. Very well. Now, all over the world, sitting in front of the TV, it is also by large numbers of excited fans. It is also. So dekat sini awak dah nampak dah dia cakap is. Okay, by. So you automatically tahu kan, ini adalah passive voice. So, dah stress tak? Stress tak sekarang? Dah tak stress dah sebab dah tahu. So, passive voice. So, what happens? Semua ni memang passive kan? So, clap. Is it clap? Ditepuk? Tidak. Directed? Di, 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 di arah? Tidak. Recorded? Dirakam? So, what is the answer? Dihadiri. Okay, attended. So, it is also attended. Pun passive voice juga. Now, attended by large number of excited fans who were lucky enough to get tickets to the live itself. Okay, number three. Live opera, live documentary, live cinema. No, live event. Live event is quite simple, kan? very straightforward. Now, live event itself. Eurovision is one of the most popular contests of its kind. It is by music lovers. Again, passive voice. It is respected, clapped, directed, reviewed. Which one is it? Ah, uh, kalau dia loved. Uh, what do they? What such a emotion that they have? Is it reviewed? It is actually respected. Eh? It is respected. By music lovers everywhere. But do you know how it started? Okay, so this is respected. How do you know it started? Well, the idea of the contest came from a man called Marcel Bezinkan. And it based on something called the Italian San Remo music. Number 13, what should that be? 
it were it got it is it was it was sebab past tense kenapa i cakap past tense and it was based on something called okay something that is based you want to talk about back then dia by something okay uh, dia in the, in the past before they came with this dia dia adaptasi daripada this italian music san remo festival okay now were adalah untuk past, uh, past dia dalam bentuk plural tapi was adalah past singular very good San Remo Music, number 14. Ballet Novel Circus Festival. Okay, the answer is festival. This one is quite simple lah, straightforward kan? Kenapa huruf besar? Sebab dia adalah title of the festival. The first Eurovision contest was held. Ha, sekarang you dah baca was held, you dah takut dah. You tahu that this is festivals. From the contest in 1950 and the again and again number dia, song could be in by any language. Could be. Ini adalah dalam bentuk apa? Jom kita tengok balik. Which is something that you akan belajar nanti. Eh? Passive voice model. Sama juga. You stay. You tengok dia dalam model apa? Can ke, could ke, may ke, might ke, must ke, had ke, shall ke, should. Lepas tu, ikut syarat yang sama. Apa yang ada, tambah verb to be. Semua ni jadi dalam passive voice. Clear on that? A passive voice pula. Past participle. So, could be read. Passive voice again. So, the answer here adalah So, could be sung or sang? Mana satu? Could be sung or sang? Could be sung. S-U-N-G. Because that is the past participle. Bila kita tengok could ni je, kita automatically rasa dia kena jadi sing. Okay, but it's supposed to be past participle. So, sing, sang, sang. Sang adalah past participle. Past simple adalah sang. Okay? Okay, uh, what two more, two more kita buat eh. In any language, number 16. All songs had to be performed the language of the participants. This one is very simple lah. Uh, in the language, ya, dalam bahasa sendiri. Uh, bukan act, act is something specific. Dalam bahasa, into adalah transformation. Uh, not the best answer lah. Next adalah, had to be performed in the language. Dan another early contest rule, that rule, change. Uh, ni macam mana pula? Sama juga, kita tengok dalam bentuk has been, had been, have been. This one is tenses. So, had been changed. Okay? Kenapa had been changed? Because you are talking about something in the past yang dah berlaku before another thing in the past berlaku. So, which I'm going to talk about it in the class nanti. This is kita panggil sebagai past perfect tense. Okay? And number 18. So, dia cakap has been at an earlier date or something known as backing track. So, recorded. Okay? Yang telah di direkod. Oopsie daisy. So to conclude our lesson before you go. Eh, ada dua situasi yang kita pakai. Number one, soalan yang ramai tanya, when to use past participle. Sebagai contoh, eaten, been, had, written, and more. Mana kita guna? To conclude, dekat sini yang kita boleh nampak, number one, we use it for passive voice. Okay? Number two, we use it for tenses. Perfect tenses. Sorry. Perfect tenses. I'm going to show you the example, okay? So, contoh passive voice adalah the mouse 
was eaten. Get the mouse was eaten. Sian mouse tu. By whom tak kisahlah kan? So, kalau kita cakap the cat has eaten the mouse. The cat had eaten the mouse. You see? Mana kita pakai kan? Eaten, eaten, eaten. Mana nak tahu perbezaan dia? Passive ke? Perfect text. Kalau dia adalah was eaten, dia adalah passive voice. Kalau dia has or had eaten, keturunan verb to have, dia adalah tenses dalam bentuk. Mana tadi? <laughs> Perfect. Okay? Itu sahaja. So, clear on the usage of it? So, hari ni dua goal kita. Eh? Tadi kita dah belajar passive voice and sekarang kita dah belajar sikit about perfect tenses. And for subscribers, I have a video yang ceritakan daripada the basic of tenses sampai, tak ingat tenses yang mana, eh? tapi sampai the the not so basic tenses. So, you guys can check our quick study video for subscribers to uh, for you to to dapatkan semua basic information kalau you perlukan uh, anytime soon. And uh, to those of you yang yang belum jadi active subscriber, you can either do that or you can see me in the, in the class and the teacher akan ceritakan in detail before kita proceed to the higher level of form 5. So, all the answers will be uploaded in the apps as usual. Thank you so much for joining our lesson. Thank you. And this is going to be the last time yang teacher jumpa uh, ada yang nanti masuk asrama and whatnot. So I would like to wish you guys all the best in everything you do. Love you guys so much. Thank you for the amazing uh, month of joining our Samina Ilmu Free. I will be praying for you and I want you to not worry because my support will, my support and prayers will always be there for you, okay? So please take a good care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of our Ilmu Free today. I'll see you in the class soon, inshallah. Take care, all the best. And to all of my Form 5 um, students who join, I, I hope to see you guys again, inshallah, soon. Uh, teacher halalkan semua ilmu, of course. And tolong halalkan semua masa yang you dah berikan kepada teacher, alright? Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Assalamualaikum. Have a great, great week ahead. Bye.